Hello, today I'm going to tell you about the project. Living things. We had to choose on any one living thing. I have chosen mango tree. Let's begin. The first lines of inquiry is classification of mango tree. A mango tree comes under the tree. And it because it has a woody stem, has branches, has lots of leaves and yellow colored mangoes on it. The second lines of inquiry is all about the functions of living things. So now I'm going to tell you about Mrs. Green. M is from movement. The mango tree's leaves move towards the sunlight. <coughs> R. R is from reproduction. This is a mango seed and this is how the mango will make its own reproduction by its babies. Next is sensitivity. The mango tree is according to the weather. If you plant a mango tree in the winter, it will not grow. But if you plant a mango tree in the summer, it will grow. Now, I will tell you about G. Now, G is from growth. A mango tree where is a baby and then it grows into a bigger tree. Now, next is R. R again, and it is from respiration. That is breathing. The mango tree can breathe like because the water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight makes its glucose. But in the night, it gives, it takes the oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide. But why? That is because it needs the oxygen to make its food into energy. So, next we have E. E is for excretion. Excretion is the dirty things we poop out, like poop or anything else. Now, how does a plant poop? It does not poop, but the leaf of the mango tree has oxygen and water in it. So after some time, it changes its color into brown and then automatically falls out of the tree. Now next is nutrition. N is for nutrition. So how do plants eat? You might be thinking they might not eat, but no. You eat means they eat because they are also living. They make their food from sunlight, air, soil, water. That's how they make their own food to eat. Now I'm going to tell you the third lines of inquiry. The impact of mango trees on the living world. If you know there are, you know, birds that build their nests on the mango trees and eat the mango leaves and the mangoes from the mango tree. We wait for the summer to come so we can eat the mangoes and some people also lie down down a mango tree when it is daylight because the mango tree is really bushy so it has space and shed for you to sit when you are tired now let me continue with the ttp project so it's like um you know design thinking process and now what is design thinking process i'm not going to tell you that but i'm going to tell you my people so the first stage is empathize and empathize you gather the information so i gather the information for the mango tree that people are saying that we want mangoes in winter that's too silly but yeah and the next thing i heard from the people were that they're cutting trees but they want to eat mangoes and in defined stage, I defined out that the bigger problem was cutting the trees. So next, on ideal stage, I found the solution that you can, there are lots of people in the world. So even if one person, even if all the people in the world at least plant one mango tree in their garden, it will be enough for the world. There will be a million trees in the world. Then in the prototype stage, I design my you know, project and then I designed this in my project so as you can see so over here I have this so this is her pet horse this is her pet seal and this is her pet dog so they all are waiting for her to pick up the mango so they all together can eat the mango so they all can eat the mango that's why mango is a real and that's why the mango is called the king of fruits. 
Now, next, I test. You can test this on people. You can ask them, can you please plant a tree for me? I hope you understood all about mango tree, all about DTP, and all about the presentation I showed you. And I hope you liked my model I made. So, bye-bye and see you back. Bye!